Hi, this is Crypto Digital. Today I'm going to be talking about the Nook Color got an update to Froyo Android 2.2. So I wanted to uh, go over some of those changes. This is the Nook Color. I'm going to turn it on. It's the home. That's the uh, splash screen, and uh, there's the home screen. And what's new in Android 2.2 Froyo update for the Nook Color. Well, for starters, my favorite thing is we've now got email. We've got a dedicated email client for the Nook Color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that. Uh, if I click on this icon, see I put the icon there. Normally you would go into the menu and then you would go into apps and there you see email is there now. See, uh, chess, contacts, crossword, email, gallery, music, Nook Friends is new, Pandora, and Sudoku. But uh, my favorite is email, and what I did was I put the email app directly onto the home screen. So right there, when I turn on the Nook color, all I have to do is click here and I'm in my email account so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh it and you'll see that the emails loading there they are see the let me see if I can get this in the shot well there are my emails and if I click on say PC world daily news and it loads takes a second to load because it's got pictures loading dangers of Internet Explorer cookie jacking what you need to know there it goes it loaded now I have to click on show pictures and there they are so right there you've got let me see if I can get that in the shot. You've got your email with links. Let's see if it works in uh, landscape mode. No, apparently the email does not work in landscape, but if you click on a link, it'll take you to that website. In this case, the article. And then you can switch it to landscape mode and I think you can see that there you uh, you get the mobile version of the website if it's available otherwise you get the full website uh, let's say you go into a full web this is the mobile website because it's PC world so it is available but um let's say I wanted to go to I'm gonna go into the web and I'm going to go, I'm going to pull it down here, I'm going to go to, let's see, barnesandnobles.com. Oh, okay, it's going to load. And this is also the mobile site. What I want is I want a site that's not the mobile site. Here we go. Click on PC site for Barnes and Nobles. And it's loading. And there's the um, the actual site. And what's cool is you can, oh, the new Nook, the new Nook, uh, not color, but black and white, uh, e-ink display is advertised there. So what you want to do is, it's obviously too small to, um, to read. What you want to do is you want to zoom in. So what, what I got wrong in the first video was I was trying to show you guys the double tap to zoom in, 
and it wasn't working. That was because I wasn't tapping hard enough. This screen, you need to tap kind of hard. So I'm going to double tap, and there you see it zoomed in, and now it is readable. So um, what I like... I don't know if I can show you here, but what I like about the double tap zoom is when you're in an article, the text realigns itself to fit the screen perfectly. It detects how your mobile device, uh, how big the screen is, you know, uh, whether it's in portrait or landscape mode, and it will realign the text perfectly for your screen. So that's a, a feature I like about mobile, uh, about um, mobile devices uh, with regular sites. Is it does that? If it's a mobile site, it'll automatically realign without double tapping. But if it's a regular site, you double tap and it realigns. Now, obviously, still landscape mode will work as well. Portrait landscape and you can uh, scroll up down side well this the um, the site takes up the full screen so there's no side but you can move up and down through the page view it like that so what else is new about uh, Froyo on the Nook color not a lot uh, as you see this the menu is still down here with the menu button your books, your library, you can scroll through that. Uh, oh, as you see, there is a, a push, there's push email on this. So you've got an email notification right here on the corner. And all you have to do is click on that, and it says new email, 19 unread emails. You know, I got to do something about that. So I'm going to click on that. And there's my emails. So even if I didn't have the email app on the desktop, it wouldn't matter because I could just click right there on the icon that went away now because I clicked on it. So there's that. That's the email. Showed you the apps. Uh, let's see what there is. Music, Pandora, that's great. Um, I believe chess and uh, Sudoku were on it already. There's the gallery. You see I've got the pictures there in the gallery. Um, oh. I didn't want that on the desktop, so I'm going to remove from home. There we go. Still have the menu up here where you click on more. It shows you the, uh, the menu on the side there of all your recently, uh, the books, the periodicals, and the files that you recently were reading. Click it again. Oh, well, I just opened... Uh, PC Magazine. I'm going to close that. You know, you click on more, you get the menu, click on more, and it closes. So other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, it's got the keep reading, and then it shows you what you were reading last. It's still got the uh, menu button on the bottom, the Wi-Fi uh, indicator, the battery indicator, the time, and the back button there, which is the only physical button. So, you know, still, I, I would have liked for it to work in portrait, in landscape mode, um, for the home screen, but no dice. Other than that, you've got the volume rocker, got the on off switch you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you've got the micro USB well it's a proprietary USB uh, I believe it's proprietary and what's also cool is that you've got a slot here 